Hi kindergartners, Detective Dami here, and today we are going to search for a way to discover all three of the states of matter. So, if you're going to join me, come on along. There's things we need to do. Yesterday, this piece of paper was sent home with you or picked up by your parents, and it's also on the task slide. And on this paper, it includes the things you'll need for the experiment. If you don't have the items that you need for the experiment, you can just watch me and watch how I do the experiment and you'll still learn a lot. The first thing I suggest is that you have a surface that you can get dirty. So what I did is I covered my favorite working table with newspaper. In case anything spills, my, my table is protected. So you could do the same thing, or you could use a kitchen counter or a, an area that's easy to clean. Make sure you find a place that's easy to clean for this experiment. The next thing you'll need is a nice clear glass. The clear glass will help you see the different states of matter. It could be plastic or glass, it doesn't matter. Just make sure you have something you can drink out of that's clear. Next, you'll need root beer and you'll need ice cream, vanilla ice cream. And that's it. Let's start by reviewing the three states of matter. The first is solid. The second is liquid. And the third is gas. So let's show some examples of a solid. This Rubik's cube is a solid. Even when I twist it and turn it and change the colors around, it still keeps its shape. This is a solid. This banana is a solid. Watch what happens. When I open it, now I have a banana peel and the actual banana. So now I have two solids. I have the banana itself and I have the peel. They're both solids. They don't change their shape. I just pulled the banana peel off the banana, but it still has the same shape and the banana has the same shape. This even gets trickier. I could take this banana and break it in half, but it still keeps its shape. Now I just have two solids instead of one whole big piece of solid, but it can keep its shape. See, if I put it next to each other, it looks like the same banana. Now I have two solids, two pieces of banana. It keeps its shape. The next state of matter is liquid. Well, we know that water is a liquid. Anything you could drink is a liquid. Anything you can pour is a liquid. This milk is a liquid. But if you notice, it fills the glass, but I can make it change its shape. Watch me fill this bowl. Does it look different than it did in the glass? A little bit, I changed it. I can tip the glass bowl and it changes its shape every time I move. I can pour it back in while it's being poured, it changes its shape. That's what makes it a liquid, it can change its shape. The last state of matter is gas. Watch when I breathe on this glass door while it's snowing outside. Do you see the fog that comes on the glass? That is a gas. Okay, kindergartners, here's the best part. Now that we've reviewed the states of matter, we can make our root beer float. And when we make our root beer float, we wanna look out for the three states of matter. We're going to look for when we make the float, which is the solid, which is the liquid, and which is the gas. Let's do it. Okay. First, take your cup. It doesn't have to be clear, but it's a lot more fun if it is because you can actually see the states of matter through the side of the glass. You're going to take your root beer, carefully open it, and you're going to pour it so you fill half your glass. Let's go. Okay, next you take your ice cream. And the best thing about the ice cream is you can put 
two scoops, not just one, but two scoops. I'm gonna actually add a little more root beer in mine. Okay, so you wanna take two scoops and you may need to ask your um, an adult in your house to help you. I let mine get pretty soft while I was talking to all of you. Okay, I'm going to put one scoop in. You may see something happen to my glass. Keep your eye on the glass. Here we go. Let's see. And I'm gonna pour some root beer over the top. Here we go, the liquid. Look down here, and then the solid. And then here we go. I think I see a liquid and a solid. You'll have to tell me after we're done with the experiment, which is which. One, two, three, I'm gonna pour the rest in. Wow, do you see all those bubbles? The bubbles are the gases. Wow, boys and girls, it worked. We made a root beer float. And it has the root beer for the liquid, the ice cream for the solid, and those bubbles are the gases because we can't actually see what's making the bubbles, which is the gases, but we can see the root beer form the bubbles. You did it, boys and girls. You made the states of matter. Now we're going to get some crayons and get your paper like this. And if you don't have one like this, you can watch us do it together. And I'll give you a moment to pause the video so we can get our equipment out for this. You want your paper and some crayons or markers. Go ahead and get those and pause the video. Okay, kindergartners, the last part of our science experiment. We did the fun part where we made our root beer float. Oh, and I forgot the best part. Grab your straw, stick it on in, and take a sip. Oh, brings me back to my childhood. When I was in kindergarten, I would go to my grandmother's once a week and have a root beer float with her. Okay, while we're enjoying our root beer floats, I want you to grab your papers and some crayons or markers, and we're going to fill in what we call our data sheet. Scientists always take data. So let's be scientists and take data on our states of matter. If you don't have this sheet, you can help me. The first thing I'm going to do is draw my root beer float. And I've already given you a glass on this paper. So the first thing we put in was the did you say root beer? You're right. So we're going to need something brown to show that that's the color of our root beer. Okay, we put the root beer in first. And then I want you to draw what you put in next. Do you remember? It was the probably the yummiest part, the ice cream. And we did two scoops, didn't we? I'm going to draw two big scoops of ice cream. And after we did the two scoops of ice cream, then we put a little more root beer on the top. And then what formed? Look at our root beer float again. What is all that foamy stuff? The gas, which is bubbles. So it came out in circles, didn't it? All those gas bubbles made circles all the way up and out of our glass. You can even draw some above your glass. I did see some bubbles go above my glass. And then we'll label it. So I'm going to grab my pencil for that because we always write with pencil, don't we? Okay, so the um, the root beer was the liquid, so we're going to write this word right here, liquid, on the first line. L-I-Q-U-I-D, liquid. 
And the next part, the two yellow scoops were the ice cream, which was the solid. So we're going to write solid on that second line. Solid. And the top, where all those bubbles are, which was also the root beer, was the gas. So that's it, scientists. You did it, kindergartners. You became scientists, and look what you discovered. The three states of matter. You have the liquid, the solid, and the gas, otherwise known as root beer, ice cream, and bubbles. Your teachers and I are so proud of you for being great scientists today.